Ever looked at the sky, saw a plane, and then ask yourself, how does that exact plane I'm looking at right now just fly across the sky without falling down? And then you perhaps thought of a plane lifting off. But how does it do that? Also, when it lands, how doesn't it just crash? Well, the logic, or should I say physics behind it, is actually quite simple. When a plane stays on the ground, the pressure above and beneath its wings is equal. But the plane wings are curved slightly at an angle. When the plane starts moving, or when it flies, the slightly curved wings make it so the pressure below the plane is higher than the pressure above it. That itself creates lift. Lift makes the plane stay up in the air. In fact, the physics behind flying is exactly the same as sailing with the sailing boat. The sails on the sailing boat are shaped at the specific angle as well. The inside of the sail, the air moves slower, but on the outside of it, the air has to move faster, so they can meet at the end. Because it's slower on the inside, that creates higher air pressure than the outside, and that's how lift is created, and how the sailing boat can move forward, or essentially sail. But this video isn't about sailing, is it? Let's break this lift side to three essential steps, how the plane lifts off, then actually stays in the air, and at last descend and land. First, how does such a heavy plane even lift in the sky? Well, it needs speed. That's why when you see planes departing, they start going fast. And yeah, that's kinda why airplanes need its engines. After a specific speed, or when about 160 to 180 miles per hour is reached, the pilots will tilt the plane so it gets that angle of attack. This angle causes the air below the plane to start moving slower than the air above it, thus creating before mentioned lift. In this case, the plane lifts off and starts climbing, getting that boost from the angle. As the plane heightens up, the air density will become thinner. Therefore, the planes need to start flying faster so they can maintain the lift that keeps them up. The engines, however, don't need to use more fuel for higher speeds because the air on the ideal cruising altitude, so around 40,000 feet, is thinner and therefore less drag on the plane itself. Similar to aerodynamics. More the vehicle is aerodynamic, the less power the motor will need to produce. What about when the plane reaches its cruising altitude? How does it start flying at the same altitude without falling down? It's because of the wings and the engines again. Because wings are structured at a specific angle, they will cause constant lift. In this case, the pressure below the plane will be equal to the weight of the plane itself. That's essentially how plane battles with Earth's gravity. The thrust that's produced by the engines has to be equal to the drag of the plane as well when the plane is flying at the constant speed. This is how the plane flies when you see it in the sky. But what happens if the pilot wants to turn the plane while flying? The plane has the things called ailerons, which can move up and down. When the pilot wants to turn, he simply makes one aileron go up and the other go down. With this, he creates a different in lift once again, and the plane will roll with the help of centripetal force. How about the descent? How doesn't the plane crash on the ground when it lands? When the plane starts descending, the thrust of the engines needs to be slower than the drag of the plane itself. And of course, the nose has to be pulled down. When the airplane is close to the runway, the pilots will activate the plane's spoilers that help increase the drag of the plane. After the plane lands, the pilots activate another thing that helps the plane to stop the reverse thrust. With this, the air that was going backwards out of the engines will start going forward and with this increase the drag even further so the plane can eventually come to a full stop. So yeah, with the help of physics, that's how you can get to far destinations with flying on an airplane.